Tomatoes are very expensive now. I hear some people shout in the comment section. Not my comment section though, but I mean, I watch other people's videos and I see comments that people drop there. So, the tomatoes are expensive, but you still want to enjoy some yummy, delicious, flavorful and tasty jollof rice. Just keep watching this video as I show you how you can make one without tomatoes. Now, in this plate, I've got my onions, the white and the purple one. I've got some scotch bonnet peppers, both the green and the red one. I've got two chili green peppers, six pieces of carrots and four bell peppers the red one okay because we want the color to pop as well since we are not making use of tomatoes now over here i've got my protein of choice which is mackerel fish you can use goat meat beef chicken turkey and all of that good stuff i went ahead to wash and cut all the veggies both the onions the peppers the carrots added a little bit of water as well just to help that to cook because i don't want it to get burnt now the goal here is to allow this to cook till they are soft and then i'm going to scoop them out add into my blender and blend you guys know that carrots are tough and if you don't have a good blender it can spoil or ruin your blender for you which has happened to me i was actually making jollof rice some time ago and i was blending the carrots and my blender got spoiled i had to buy a new one now back to the cooking i've added the fish into the pot went in with some onion bay leaf salt and now i'm adding my fish seasoning this is fish so i'm going to use fish seasoning all right i added some water to help the fish to cook because i don't want it to burn and i'm going to cover the pot and allow this to cook until the fish is done now while the fish is cooking i went ahead to blend the peppers the carrots and we are going to blend this till they are very smooth now like i was saying my blender got spoiled because i was blending carrots uncooked and that blender wasn't you know strong enough that was why it broke down now back to the blended mix you want it to be very smooth like what you can see on the screen back to the story all in all what i'm trying to say is if you don't have a good blender or strong blender you want to cook the carrots and the peppers till they are soft that way your blender can blend easily without breaking down okay now the fish is done cooking and i've added into my air fryer and i'm going to air fry till they are brown you can fry the meat in the oil or you can grill in the oven like i always say now in my pot again i've added some vegetable oil went in with with the remaining onions and i've added a tablespoon of minced ginger and garlic paste some rosemary you can use thyme went in with some cubes that is seasoning cubes and i'm going to fry this a bit i realized that ha huh, como was i trying to cook eight cups of rice in this small pan <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes you just get confused and that was what happened to me so i had to transfer the oil into a bigger pot so that i can have enough room to fry all the fryables and add all the edibles <laughs> so i'm going to fry and add in the blended pepper mix now because we've cooked down the pepper mix a bit we don't really have to fry for a longer period of time but if you don't cook yours then you might want to you know add and fry until it fries properly and until the oil starts settling on top so after i've added the blended pepper mix i went in with my jumbo jollof rice seasoning this is going to add a very nice red color to the jollof rice I, I i added two teaspoons of that you don't want it too much because then it's going to ruin the taste of your rice and the rice will be too red or pinkish 
that you might not like so you want to add just about little then i went in with some paprika powder curry powder and some nutmeg powder as well i also added some seasoning cubes to that i'm going to give it a good mix and then i poured in the fish stock rinsed the blender and add the water there as well and it's time to add the rice now you can cover the pot and allow this to come to a boil before adding the rice but i went ahead and add my rice straight away because i didn't parboil the rice for this particular recipe i've already gone ahead to wash the rice off camera i washed until the water ran clear you guys know that i usually parboil my rice but with this one i decided to cook it without parboiling it okay because you guys know that we can't continue or we can't always use the same method all the time so sometimes i like to switch things up but i mostly parboil my rice but with this one we are not parboiling anything and by the way here is our fish all done frying and there are some stock that seeped out while the fish was frying so i had to add that into the pot as well just for that flavor you know it's going to add extra more flavor to the pot and then cover the pot and allow this to cook until the water is almost dried i came back checked on it the rice was still tough so i added a bit more water added more salt and seasoning cubes now if you add more water to your jollof rice i'll suggest you add more seasoning and salt to it taste it though before you add okay but i think that as you are adding water it is reducing the flavor and the taste of the jollof rice so you might want to add more seasoning to that all right then cover the pot allow to cook again i came back and then garnished with some onions fresh tomatoes and some green beans with butter as well okay the butter is going to give it a silky look and for those of us who cannot do without fresh tomatoes in their food i mean not all food though but if you can't do without fresh tomatoes in your jollof rice then <laughs> just slice up two fresh tomatoes i'm using only two here you don't need much it's just for the garnishing purposes right so over here i've got some curry leaves which i'm going to shred into pieces and add to the jollof rice because i want that curry flavor you know in my jollof rice this is optional though you don't have to add it but if you know me you know that i like being extra <laughs> This part is completely optional you don't have to garnish at this point the rice is done but to give it that extra pop of color and um, you know beautiful look you want to garnish your jollof rice and that is it guys it was so good the fish mm, amazing you need to try it out okay thank you so much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it please click the like button and share this video as well i'll see you all in my next video